Uh, for us in our season right now, we're coming off a, a very good win against Butler this weekend on Saturday, we won 4-0. Um, we've uh, had a very ambitious schedule to this point and um, have some very good games coming up this week in Ohio State and Notre Dame. We start Big East play. Um, the progress has been very good. Um, our our uh, team continues to grow and get better. And uh, we're excited not only for uh, this upcoming week, but the progress through the rest of the season. So. The next, the next two or three weeks are difficult. I mean, you talk about playing such a challenging schedule and what that, you know, you hope to get out of that. Season. Well, the, the, uh, the schedule was set up with the end in mind, and that is uh, we knew that we needed to play as many good games as possible and, and on the road. The, the championships are not one on our own uh, home field, but for the Big East or the NCAA tournament, they're one away from home. So, you know, early in the season to play Wake Forest and, uh, and North Carolina on the road, to have this week um, Ohio State and, and Notre Dame on the road, is, it's a great challenge for us and uh, one that I know this team is prepared for and, and we're excited about. But uh, it's all... It's all about preparation. It's all about uh, growing and getting better. And, and for us to reach our potential, we have to play the best teams. I, I think we're in a good spot. Um, you know, the last thing to come in, in the progression of the season is the, the rhythm and the flow from an attacking standpoint. The, the NCAA provides us really two weeks of preseason to get ready for the, the season. And it'd be interesting to hear other sports like football and see where they see the progression of it. But always for us, it's that it's the rhythm in the attack. It's, um, you know, you can organize your team and, and set them up to destroy and prevent other teams from, from playing. But the rhythm and the cohesiveness in the attack is the last thing to come. And right now, um, I thought against Butler, it was one of our better games as far as going forward and creating chances. So we're, we're, we're in a good spot. Uh, I think as a coach, you always want to be a little bit further ahead, but we're, you know, we're in a good place right now. Having not had a loss a year ago, came during the season, did, did your players respond the way you would like them to after the We did. Uh, we responded well. It wasn't a surprise either. I think we have a very veteran team, a very experienced team, and um, you know, we, we learn um, from both wins and losses. Um, you know, when we beat Butler this, uh, this weekend, and uh, there were a lot of things we learned from it, from uh, the loss to North Carolina. We learned a lot from it. Um, a as a coach, I'd rather learn from the winning more. Um, but just the same, it was productive and positive and uh, something that we gained a lot from. You know, I'd, I'd rather not uh, guess on how it would affect us. And as far as the realignment, um, you know, one of the reasons why I'm here is, is because of Tom George. And I trust Tom and uh, his wisdom and discernment. And based on the circumstances and what's going on, I have the faith that Tom will put us in the best spot possible, you know, whatever that is. Um, so that, you know, he's one of the best in the country, and, and uh, I'm sure he's going to do everything possible to line us up and put us uh, where we need to be. You know, a as that relates to soccer, we'll, we'll see where that, that is, uh, and time will only tell. Anywhere, I'd, yeah, I'd put it against anybody in the country. What we have here and what uh, Tom and Julie have um, created is is amazing. Um, and, and again, Tom's always said this: is that um, as an institution and as an athletic department, we put ourselves in a pretty good spot. And I would, you know, I would guess there would be a lot of conferences that would want the affiliation, um, both as a, an institution and in athletically as well. We're fairly healthy. Um, I think um, you know there's there's always points where you you know certain guys are nursing some things and you know um, but you know we're we're as healthy as we've been all season and uh, we feel pretty good about that. We're still a couple of guys that are coming along, but um, 
again, uh, it's part of the season, it's part of the process, and uh, that's why it's important to be deep as well, is that you have guys that, um, you know, when, when other guys aren't, aren't completely healthy, other guys can step in and have that impact. Yeah, different years and different teams, but uh, I like the progress of where we're at. You know, I I, th I think the uh, the focus for this group, the um, uh, the level of play, uh, has been very good, and and probably a little bit different than last year. I would say we we probably have a little bit more belief right now. I think the belief grew with last year's team. I think with this year's team right now, there's a strong belief in in what our ability is and what we can accomplish. What we sense is that we usually get everybody's best, uh, which is great. Um, again, you know, it's uh, like we said about the schedule of, of uh, scheduling the best teams because it, it, it challenges us and forces us to have to be at our best and have to grow. Um, and, you know, the teams like Central Arkansas coming in here, we clearly got their best on that day and welcomed it. And, um, you know, a lot of teams that we're playing because of uh, our success uh, they're prepared for us, and we'd want it no other way. Anything else? All right. Super. Thanks.